Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today is my third video on how to make a game board junk journal. Today I'm going to be working on making an embellished page and I am using items that I received from BB Craft. I'm a guest designer with them and so I'm using some dies. This time um, I have other items and an unboxing if you want to see that video, I will put the link down for it below. Also, as I said, this was my third video in the Game Board Junk Journal series. And so if you'd like to see the first two videos, I'll have the link down below. I have one on how to how I made this cover. And then I also have one on putting together the signature or the pages that go in the book. Today, specifically, I wanted to show you how I made this really cool page and using the dies over here and just some items. So this is a flip out tag page, I guess we could call it. And each tag has little pockets that you can put things in. And then I used, this was, I used a piece from a back of a cereal box actually it was peeps cereal my husband wanted to try that but it happened to have a candy land of sorts game on the back so I'm cutting that apart to use within these two candy land books that I'm making but so that's on the main page but the flip out part is a combination of three of this die here and I made it like little tags and I'm going to add some ribbons coming out the tops so I haven't completely finished this but I wanted to show you in this video just how to make this base part of it and yeah and so I used the die that I used the, this ice cream die and the ice cream die came with these two frames two different kinds of ice cream cones and then two different scoops and then a couple different sprinkle parts so this one is just the little tiny sprinkles that I added on to this little section here and then it has a cherry and a little cherry part there and then this little scallop part I haven't I didn't use these at all so that's why they're still together like that they, they come all attached then you have to use pliers or wire cutters to cut the little bits apart and then for the for these two items there was another set that had candies this lollipop and this is actually a little if you cut out two pieces of it and glue it all together it makes a small candy box but I used it by just cutting apart in the middle there and I just cut the tabs off and use them in the back as just little candies to stick in my junk journal so that's that um, this one I made into a little shaker if you can see it here it's really cute just I use the little hearts this one here to make the little shaker bits and when I layered it I cut this into all the different colors here and just cut apart the pieces to do the different layers on here so it wasn't just one color yeah so that I love how that turned out and then what I did was I just cut I traced around the outside of the whole thing to get the yellow behind there just so it had something behind it besides my pattern paper in the background so anyway let's get started on making this it is pretty simple but I really love this effect I love the pockets on the back and you just open it up you can stick things in this pocket so yeah let's get started 
So I'm pulling out my page that I'm going to use to make the tag flip in the other book and I'm just going to use the candy cane page just like I when I made the original one. And so with my Sizzix Big Shot I'm going to use one of the frame dies that came with the ice cream set and I'm going to cut out three of these with some pink cardstock. This cardstock is from Joann's and I'll if I have can find a link for it I will put a link for it but this this set of cardstock it comes in a box and it is great for using with your Sizzix or with Cricut if you have to cut out really fine details with the Cricut this paper is the best. And I actually need to cut out six of these because I use the frame on both sides of my paper. So now taking the frames, I am going to cut three, I used two pieces of some of my scraps of scrapbook paper. I used one of the candy cane and I'm just going to measure where I need to print, where I need to cut it down and just cut it slightly smaller than the frame so that it, I can glue the frame onto it and it won't show around the edges. And then I'll just use that as a template to cut two pieces out of this gummy bear paper. If you don't have these dies, you can just cut them out square. Or if you have another tag die, you can just you can make this page with anything that you have, even if you don't have a die. I just wanted to show you what I use these for and pretty much the base construction of how to make the page. So I'm going to cut the or glue the frames onto both sides. I'll first I'll do it to the pattern side and then I'll have to cut three more of those pieces to go on the back side. I just wanted to cover up the edge of the paper on the back so it just gave it a cleaner look. And then it also ultimately adds a little bit more sturdy, like it adds sturdiness to the tags. I cut three more of them and I'll just glue those to the back. Now using the inside part that came from die cutting the frames, I'm cutting those down and making little pockets to go on the back of the tags. And I'll just put glue on three sides and add that to the back and that will just make a little pocket. So when the page opens, you'll be able to stick little pieces of ephemera in there. Now pull your piece of your tags over to your page and you'll want to line them up and overlap them slightly and kind of go from the bottom to the top and lay them out. You'll want to leave space on the left hand side where you have your holes punched in your page so they don't obstruct how the page moves and then add glue to the back of each tag and glue 
all three tags together. I'm just eyeballing where I'm putting the glue. Just making sure they're all straight. And then clean up the glue on the back if you accidentally put a little too much. Now I'm taking some of the candy cane paper that I have left over. I'm going to cut about an inch and a half. Or no, it was about two and a quarter inches, I think. And then folding approximately three quarters of an inch down on one side there. This is going to make the attachment so that I can add, like it'll make a hinge so I can attach those three tags onto it. So now I'll add glue there to my hinge and then that piece will glue onto the right side of those tags. And I just want to line that up, let it dry, and that's it. And that is the simple tag flip page that you can make using any tag die that you have or just cutting out tags using your scissors or your paper trimmer. Then after that, all you have to do is decorate it. I decorated with these candy and ice cream dies that were from BB Craft. I'll have the links for them down below. And then I added a pocket on the back page there. And yeah, I think this turned out really super cute. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.